Acts chapter two, the Holy Spirit comes at Pentecost. When the day of Pentecost came, all the believers gathered in one place. Suddenly, a sound came from heaven. It was like a strong wind blowing. It filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw something that looked like fire in the shape of tongues. The flames separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit. They began to speak in languages they had not known before. The Spirit gave them the ability to do this. Godly Jews from every country in the world were staying in Jerusalem. A crowd came together when they heard the sound. They were bewildered because each of them heard their own language being spoken. The crowd was really amazed. They asked. Aren't all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then why do we each hear them speaking in our own native language? We are Parthians, Medes, and Elamites. We live in Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia. We are from Pontus, Asia, Phrygia, and Pamphylia. Others of us are from Egypt and the parts of Libya near Cyrene. Still others are visitors from Rome. Some of the visitors are Jews; others have accepted the Jewish faith. Also, Cretans and Arabs are here. We hear all these people speaking about God's wonders in our own languages. They were amazed and bewildered. They asked one another, "What does this mean?" But some people in the crowd made fun of the believers. They've had too much wine, they said. Peter speaks to the crowd. Then Peter stood up with the eleven apostles. In a loud voice, he spoke to the crowd. "My fellow Jews," he said, "let me explain this to you. All of you who live in Jerusalem, listen carefully to what I say. You think these people are drunk, but they aren't. It's only nine o'clock in the morning. No, here is what the prophet Joel meant," he said. In the last days, God says, "I will pour out my Holy Spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will have dreams. In those days, I will pour out my Spirit on my servants. I will pour out my Spirit on both men and women. When I do, they will prophesy. I will show wonders in the heavens above." I will show signs on the earth below. There will be blood and fire and clouds of smoke. The sun will become dark. The moon will turn red like blood. This will happen before the coming of the great and glorious day of the Lord. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Joel chapter two verses twenty-eight to thirty-two. Fellow Israelites, listen to this. Jesus of Nazareth was a man who had God's approval. God did miracles, wonders, and signs among you through Jesus. You yourselves know this. Long ago, God planned that Jesus would be handed over to you. With the help of evil people, you put Jesus to death. You nailed him to the cross, but God raised him from the dead. He set him free from the suffering of death. It wasn't possible for death to keep its hold on Jesus. David spoke about him. He said, "I know that the Lord is always with me, because He is at my right hand. I will always be secure. So my heart is glad, and joy is on my tongue. My whole body will be full of hope. You will not leave me in the place of the dead. You will not let your holy one rot away." You will always show me the path that leads to life. You will fill me with joy when I am with you. Psalm, book sixteen, verses eight to eleven. Fellow Israelites, you can be sure that King David died. He was buried. His tomb is still here today. But David was a prophet. He knew that God had made a promise to him. God had promised. That he would make someone in David's family line king after him. David saw what was coming, so he spoke about the Messiah rising from the dead. 
he said that the Messiah would not be left in the place of the dead. His body wouldn't rot in the ground. God has raised the same Jesus back to life. We are all witnesses of this. Jesus has been given a place of honor at the right hand of God. He has received the Holy Spirit from the Father. This is what God had promised. It is Jesus who has poured out what you now see and hear. David did not go up to heaven, but he said, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand. I will put your enemies under your control. Psalm book 110 verse 1 So be sure of this, all you people of Israel. You nailed Jesus to the cross, but God has made him both Lord and Messiah. When the people heard this, it had a deep effect on them. They said to Peter and the other apostles, Brothers, what should we do? Peter replied, All of you must turn away from your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then your sins will be forgiven. You will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The promise is for you and your children. It is also for all who are far away. It is for all whom the Lord our God will choose. Peter said many other things to warn them. He begged them, Save yourselves from these evil people. Those who accepted his message were baptized. About 3,000 people joined the believers that day. The believers share their lives together. The believers studied what the apostles taught. They shared their lives together. They ate and prayed together. Everyone was amazed at what God was doing. They were amazed when the apostles performed many wonders and signs. All the believers were together. They shared everything they had. They sold property and other things they owned. They gave to anyone who needed something. Every day, they met together in the temple courtyard. They ate meals together in their homes. Their hearts were glad and sincere. They praised God. They were respected by all the people. Every day, the Lord added to their group those who were being saved.